Can you recall a moment you made a decision that changed the course of your life? I'm pretty sure you can. And this week's Parsha Shalach teaches us a lot about how to trust God in those moments. After a year at Mount Sinai, the people packed up their portable sanctuary and came to the borders of the Promised Land, Canaan. They should have entered the land at this point, but instead they sent in 12 spies, one from each of the 12 tribes, to check out the land. After 40 days, the spies came back bringing not so good news. Ten of them warned the people that the inhabitants of the land are warriors and giants. However, two spies, Joshua and Caleb, are the only ones who insist that the land should be indeed conquered as God commanded. The people weep that they'd rather go back to Egypt than face this challenge, and because of the lack of trust, Hashem decrees that Israel's entry into the Promised Land shall be delayed 40 years. This moment is known in history as the holiday of Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of Jewish history. On this date, both the first and the second temples were destroyed. It is so unfortunate that a day of tragedies resulted from a moment of lack of trust in God. Of course, a loving God would continue to assist them in their conquering of the Promised Land. They had been promised that. But you know what's interesting? Later on in the parasha, Hashem tells Moshe that because Caleb, one of the spies, was different and he trusted God, he was going to be brought into the land and his descendants would possess it. You see, a moment of lack of trust in Hashem, who is in control of everything, can even affect generations into the future. When you trust God and remain positive about circumstances, Hashem blesses you and you inherit the promise. Even when you second-guess yourself, remember that your Creator is always by your side and He's all goodness. Shabbat Shalom.